Hi there guys, this is uh, Illusion making a Maya tutorial on displacement maps. Uh, I'm gonna be showing you how to make and I mean how to use displacement maps and uh, how they work. Two different ways to go about doing this. I'm gonna be showing you both today. Uh, so sit back and enjoy. So at first you just want to go and uh, create a polygon primitive. Uh, this would be a plane that I'm going to be working with at least. Um, so you do this. Um, have a few uh, sub subdivided a bit so that you have uh, enough polygons in there. Um, I use 50 times 50. You can use more if you want to, but even less if you do. Um, it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, well, it does matter, but not right now for this purpose. You should actually experiment with this on your own. So, but anyways, just go straight into window after you after you made your plane and made it a bit bigger. Uh, straight into window rendering editors and open your hypershade window. Here we can add a displacement map um, uh, by going into making a blin first, uh, then we find search for file just to make it easier for you guys to find um, like this. Um, I like to place them a bit in order so it doesn't really get fucked up. Now this file will tell each polygons where uh, where they will be positioned according to uh, the height that you set. Uh, so we're just gonna want to open up a file which would be the displacement map. The displacement maps are all black and white. This is due to white being the highest point um, which will then define the polygons position in uh, 3d space black will be the original point ground zero as you if you may say um, on the plane uh, or on the object anyways uh, so and gray tones would then be everything in the middle in between the highest point and uh, the blackest point actually yeah the darker the low the lower down the brighter the higher up so I'm going to uh, the search box again uh, search for this you get this placement up as the only viable search <coughs> viable search. No, that doesn't really make any sense. Anyways, uh, hold down your middle mouse button over a file, the file that you selected or made. Um, connect that node with the displacement shader as it's called. Now this will then connect these two and allow this image to be the uh, displacement map you know, mapping where the displacement will happen, if you know what I mean. So then, again, uh, hold down middle mouse over blin 1, the blin, whatever. Uh, uh, you might also have a Lambert, it doesn't really matter. And uh, connect these by choosing displacement map in the bottom. As I said, hold down middle mouse button, let go over blin and displacement map. Uh, then we need to make sure these two are assigned to each other. Assign the blend to the uh, plane, object, whatever uh, you're using. Um, and uh, now um, it's just about rendering it. The reason it doesn't show this by default is because it will probably take too much processing power. Uh, so you have to render it to actually see it. Um. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, and as you see, the plane is now distorted. It is uh, bumpy. 
um, you can use this for whatever you want you can use it to make a map uh, for a game uh, so that you can um, have something to start with and then build on it um, it's really easy to make this placement maps it's just finding the right tones and know what you want to do and um, really easy all you need is paint or I mean yeah paint is probably not something you want to use but uh, Photoshop works if you want to use that um, whatever programs you use for yourself um, anyways the displacement map is now done for the first method of doing it now I'm just going to show you how displacement map works now what it does is it actually only pushes the polygons upwards never pushes it downwards unless you <coughs> define that option which uh, I believe you can do I do actually not know how to do that if anybody does you can tell me now just to prove my point you can see that nothing here uh, is pushed below you can see yeah and just to see that these are on the exact same spot you can see that by seeing that part right there and uh, yeah now that was the first way of doing it we can also extract this uh, what should I say this modification or this uh, map <coughs> <coughs> to a to an object that is distorted so it's really easy just go over to modify convert displacement to polygons and uh, it pretty much uh, calculates it and uh, when it's done it, you have your displaced plane uh, it always creates a copy of the displacement so that you don't have to worry about it deleting the last one um, so yeah this looks pretty much like the picture grey tones, white, uh, black yeah and uh, looks pretty good um, now why did I delete that uh, let's see now just to show you that there is another way about to go about this, um, I'm just gonna create one right beside it. Uh, the last one we made, and um, this one has no affection on it, just so you can see it right there. It is not been distorted. Um, so now I'm about to show you the shortcut of how to do this. Um, all you need to do is open up your hyper shade yeah as I said no fiction uh, open up your hyper shade as I showed you earlier and um, create a blend assign this blend to your object and uh, click this little button right here it will show you sorry there we go go into the blend attribute editor and click this little button and you get up to blend I want to see whatever it's called and then you need to go to f uh, this one and I have apparently assigned the wrong blend to this uh, let's just go in and edit that fast oh god misclick um, hyper shade <coughs> <coughs> so sorry about the coughing I'm actually sick but um, there you go click the little button sorry blend click the little button displacement mat it says click this little square and choose file 
you can click this one as I do or you can go to file 2 it really doesn't matter you get to the same place anyways uh, you choose your image by clicking the folder box just like you did earlier uh, with the file and open and now when I render you'll see uh, both of them are distorted exactly the same way <coughs> Hey, now you can use this on cubes to create a earth-like setting if you want to have a high polygon mesh uh, with uh, um, a very low difference between the height and the uh, uh, original points uh, but you can also change the height of the um, of the distortion that is being done so if you remember um, these two were distorted the exact same way so we need to go to this one again and file 2 alpha is luminance here so alpha gain will always alter the maximum height of everything um, of how I mean of everything of how the displacement happens so if I render now you can see that the image is uh, that it does uh, quite less distortion to it uh, to the object so after this I'm gonna be saying thank you guys uh, for watching hope you enjoyed it uh, this is my first tuto tutorial so far so don't be haters I'm certainly not um, yeah now you can see this one was the original a lot less distortion over here because I changed the alpha gain right here so yeah hope you enjoyed it and um, have a great time guys